Okay, let's start the debate. We're discussing the question of whether to allow countries to develop nuclear energy. Justin, you're arguing for the positive side, that countries should be allowed to develop nuclear energy. Lisa, you're arguing for the negative side, that nuclear energy should be prohibited. You'll have four minutes to debate the issue. You go first, Justin. For centuries, humans have depended on fossil fuels such as oil, natural gas, and coal as our major sources of energy. However, fossil fuels are non-renewable and finite. One day, they'll run out. Subsequently, governments have been looking at alternative and sustainable energy sources such as solar, wind, hydroelectric, geothermal, and nuclear energy. However, the sun, wind, water, and the Earth's heat are not reliable sources of energy. They can't fulfill the energy needs of large cities. That leaves nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is a cheap, clean, and safe energy source. It's the energy source of the future. It's not the case that nuclear energy is a renewable form of energy. It's not. Producing nuclear energy requires extracting uranium from the ground, and there is a limited amount of uranium. I'm not in favor of non-renewable energy sources, especially fossil fuels, because of the negative effects of carbon compounds on the environment and their contribution to global warming. I believe that scientists will eventually figure out how to make solar, wind power, hydroelectric, and geothermal energy meet our needs. According to a study by Dr. Mark Jacobson, professor of civil and environmental engineering at Stanford University, there are no technological or economic barriers to converting the entire world to clean, renewable energy sources. He and other scientists believe that wind and solar power can supply 90% of our energy needs. They think this can be achieved by 2050 if we all get involved and make it happen. Furthermore, nuclear energy is not cheap, clean, and safe. It's dirty, expensive, and dangerous. Each year, huge amounts of radioactive waste are created during the process of producing nuclear energy. For instance, more than 58,000 metric tons of highly radioactive waste has accumulated at nuclear plants around the U.S., as for safety, the accidents at Chernobyl and Fukushima illustrate how unsafe nuclear plants can be. These accidents caused an enormous amount of devastation to both humans and the environment. The incidents at Chernobyl and Fukushima are examples of what happens to old plants that failed because of highly unusual and extreme circumstances that will probably never happen again. In the past 50 years, there have been a small handful of nuclear accidents. Conversely, coal mining and oil drilling accidents in the past have repeatedly caused severe damage. Did you say a handful of nuclear accidents? On the contrary, there have been over 100 significant nuclear incidents worldwide. Chernobyl and Fukushima are just the most famous ones. Another factor to consider is that uranium mining damages the environment. Pipes containing radioactive elements can leak and contaminate the water supply, kill animals, and make urban areas uninhabitable. There is simply no safe method to store nuclear waste, and your argument that nuclear energy is safe is simply not valid. While it's true that accidents have happened, advances in technology will help to minimize the possibility of accidents in the future. It's also true that radioactive waste management is a challenge. But radioactive waste is very small compared to waste produced by other sources of energy. Time's up, students. So, class, who do you think made the best argument?